Most women lead busy lives, caring for their families, their homes, their careers. They don't often think about their number one enemy, coronary heart disease, which causes 40% of all female deaths. That's why the Women's Cardiovascular Program at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center is offering up simple tips to keep your heart healthy. First, get an annual checkup. In general, women will take care of family members before they'll, they'll actually schedule an appointment for themselves, and so there is some delay. At an annual appointment, you'll learn important numbers, like your blood pressure, cholesterol, and body weight, and make a plan with your doctor to get and keep those numbers in a healthy range. Next, add fish to your diet. Two servings a week is all you need. Omega-3 in fish just just spurs up your memory, and your, um, your mood. Uh, it, it's great for uh, increasing your good cholesterol, and it's just a, a great thing to, uh, to have in your diet. Then, cut down on salt or sodium. And we're not just talking about what comes out of the shaker. What you really need to do is start looking at the actual packages of the foods that you're eating and be aware of the actual sodium content. So foods that people often eat and don't realize are high in salt include soups, canned soups are notoriously high in salt, uh, cold cuts very high in salt. So you really need to start educating yourself and take a look at the packaging. Too much salt in the diet can increase blood pressure, putting you at risk for heart disease. Also eat the right kind of fat. Good fats are fats that are things like in um, seeds, nuts, and plants. These are fats that are overall generally beneficial to your heart and to the body. Uh, they have less of the clogging material that contributes to coronary artery disease. Steer clear of products high in trans fats, foods like baked goods and french fries. Finally, get moving. Work in exercise as much as you can. Schedule it like you would any appointment. Women are really busy. They're juggling a lot of different roles, and so sometimes they don't make time for themselves because they're taking care of everyone else. You know, so if I think if they can set aside time with a friend or with a spouse um, to try to get some regular exercise in and make it a priority just like they do everything else, I think it'll have a positive benefit long term.